Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm back with one of my very regular guests, and he's none other than none other than Kahudo Chishisumi, well-known commentator on any possible issue around the world in India or anything that comes up in Nagaland. So I'm very happy that he joins me for tonight for this uh, a short talk on whatever is happening. So it's more of a casual conversation. But let's see how we navigate through all the issues and through all the concerns or the narrative that is being built up nowadays in the state or as well as any th anywhere that's um, within our reach. So Mr. Kahudo Jishi, thank you so much for joining me again. And it's been long due. I think yes. it, the last talk that we had was somewhere in October somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. Last year? Yeah. It's been quite a long time. Yeah, quite a long so time. So how have you been since then? Uh, physically, I was a bit uh, ill, uh, mm, but okay. uh, recovering now. Uh, okay. I'm anyway, Happy New Year. Happy uh, New Year. <laughs> always a pleasure uh, uh, interacting with you. And congratulations on your new studio. Oh, yeah. Thank uh, you so much. Uh, Thank you so much. Very, I, yeah. I really want uh, Naga YouTubers no, to grow. Uh, and mm. I think you're the most thing. You have shown the most growth no, um, among all the ones okay. that I've come across. Thank you for the compliments. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And yeah, it's nice to see you again. And today we are meeting for the first time in 2024. Mm -hmm. And still we're ha wishing each other Happy New Year. And I'm glad mm -hmm. to hear that you are recovering from your, I mean, uh, sickness. And mm -hmm. I wish that you remain healthy. Thank you. We need someone like you who speaks out on many, many issues and at the right, uh, at the right time for the right reason. I think that's um, our society needs to, you know, learn to discuss more on issues. So that's everything for me. Now, I think when you look at the state of Nagaland, uh, what is really happening here, or what is being, you know, um, what is being cooked mm -hmm. nowadays is, you know, we we can see some of the things like the Lok Sabha election, mm -hmm. and candidates mm -hmm. are being declared mm -hmm. from the respective mm -hmm. parties. Yes. So. What do you think? Like for me, the Lok Sabha election seems mm. a bit irrelevant for the Nagas. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And uh, uh, even if you get sent to the mm, Lok Sabha, mm, 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 we don't speak. Mm, we don't get chance mm, yes, to speak. Yes, yes. And what mm. development can he or she do? Mm, mm, so it seems a bit irrelevant mm, mm, because we're too small. Mm, mm, so what do you think on that? See, uh, regarding uh, being a single person, uh, uh, please speak closer to the mic. Uh, yeah. Regarding being a single uh, representative from Nagaland, no? Yeah. It does not matter much. Okay. okay. Yeah. Because uh, whether it's in the, the assembly or the parliament, it is a forum where you can speak out. Mm. Mm. And if you speak on relevant issues, you're naturally bound to found, find other parties mm. who are willing to support you. No, you can't just uh, take the excuse that I, I'm alone. Huh? What can I do? Yeah. Mm. So that that is one aspect. Mm. Uh, mm. The second aspect is, as you said earlier, like for Nagas, no, as a whole. We have we are uh, receiving the thing. Uh, uh, I don't know how to phrase it. Okay, whether it's culturally, no, okay, technologically, education, no, all these things. Uh, other societies, no, they've had centuries to go through the experiences. No, okay. uh, we have had it compressed within this uh, less than hundred years. Yeah. So we are still we don't understand the uh, the foundation mm. of the issues we discuss. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So even the democracy itself, no? Yeah, yeah. We know the concept, but we don't know how to practice it. Exactly. Mm. I agree. See, uh, I think it was last year, this uh, St. Joseph uh, thing, college, uh, university, sorry, uh, okay. their uh, political science uh, thing, uh, department, they invited me okay. for a discussion. In Chakama? Uh, uh? Chakama? No, no, uh, Dimapur one. Uh, okay. So, they were there, the students and the faculty and all that. No, so I asked them, "Is Nagaland de <laughs> democracy?" They Absolutely. all disagreed because we all know it's not democracy. It is not. Uh, so it even not. when assembly elections, when it is close to us, no. Even when or when we don't practice democracy, even there, no. Uh, Lok Sabha elections, no, it's very far off, no, for us. <laughs> no, we don't even know. The purpose uh, of having an MP yeah. in Parliament. No, no I mean, mm. I, I doubt on that. Uh, yes. And when we can't, uh, when our MLAs can't speak on issues mm. which concern our state, no, uh, mm. then uh, you don't expect our MP to speak on issues which <laughs> 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 concerns the country, no. Uh, yeah. So, 
that's uh, that's directly shot down. Yeah. Unfortunate mm. that our educated people see we have got a very high literacy rate, uh, but yeah. uh, education is a different aspect. Okay, uh, to be literate and to be educated, they are two completely absolutely, different things. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. An educated man must be aware, no, uh, of the purpose. Uh, yeah, it must be. Uh, must be able to reason. Must out. be able to reason out. Yeah, yeah. to use knowledge. Exactly. No, education exactly. is uh, the ability to use what we have been taught. No? Exactly. Uh. Exactly. Uh, Not just consume uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Just uh, memorizing it and then vomiting out for competitive exams. <laughs> no? Uh. no, that's that's uh, that yeah, is our criteria for yeah. thing. For everything. Yeah, for everything. <laughs> we should be a thinking person yeah. if you're if you're. In fact, I think educated. only doctors, no, yeah. uh, they use their knowledge. Okay, mm. because even engineers also. <laughs> 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 uh, look at. Yeah. The construction that go around in Nagaland, no? right, oh. right. But by the way, they, they, for the Lok Sabha election, mm -hmm. um, did did anyone kind of like push you? Like, why don't you contest? Or uh, no, no, I, I, no, no, no one thing. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, of course, if I won, I can get some uh, fringe party ticket, no? Yeah, uh, yeah. So called. Uh, Central thing, no? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. They'll be more than willing to set up, set me up, no? Because right. what does it cost them, no? Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. But uh, in the first place, uh, I want to make an impact in the state, no? Uh, mm. Before, mm -hmm. no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so at at the peak of your mm -hmm. time, it's 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 that's. And I true. think political parties they know better than to approach me because mm. they have their own agenda, no? And yeah, I, yeah. And uh, you, they I know that you are not going to bow down yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> But so far from Congress, uh, mm. Mr. S. Subong Merin mm. has been declared as their candidate. Uh, yes, yes, I and heard And from that NDPP, uh, Chumbin, Dr. Chumbin Muri. No, okay, okay, okay. So uh, it's going to be interesting, but it still feels like, you know, for us, we just vote people who are in the ruling. Yeah, yeah, because, see, the previous Lok Sabha election, mm. uh, our, I think, is he a minister now? Uh, Mutsubu, no? Mutsubu. Former uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. RD. RD director, no? Right, uh, right. See, he threatened the people, no? Electorate of uh, Mukchun district, Is saying that, that uh, if you vote for Congress, uh, we will uh, think, uh, think, not uh, give development okay. funds and all that, no? So I was not aware of that. No, no, I was aware of that. Okay, uh. okay. And uh, it's thing. Mm, okay. uh, see, the Congress led across Nagaland, no? And mm -hmm. then in Mom district, no? He was hammered there. Uh, and then what I heard was uh, they taped over the EVM button of the Congress thing so that nobody could press it. Really? I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I heard. I mean, there are a lot of allegations yeah, yeah, you know, uh, similar uh, to that uh, lines. Uh, in every district, you will find that. Uh, so no, but then here too, it again, it's different. No? Because okay. in the sense here, especially in the villages, no? mm -hmm. mm. as I said earlier, they'll threaten with development thing, yeah, no? uh, yeah, funds. Yeah. No? So the Congress will say, vote for that. Uh, vote for this. No? So like and then they'll give a certain... For the other thing, no, uh, uh. certain number of votes, no. Uh. So I don't want to blame the government for mm. not being fully democratic as well. As long as we, the people, are not aware exactly. of our rights, not government can't do yes. anything. Right. That so is the point. No, we let ourselves be cowed down. No? I I, uh. I agree with that. No, nobody is going to come and save us. No, uh, nobody is going to stand guard over you while you're thing. No, you have to do it yourself. Exactly. Uh. Exactly. The masses have mm -hmm. to be changed. Mm -hmm. I mean, their mindset, yeah, yeah, their perspective uh, on you know how mm -hmm. society functions, how governance mm -hmm. should be, should be changed yes, yes, in in the uh, first place. Otherwise, uh, even if like the strongest forces on earth come mm -hmm. and try to implement yes, democracy, yes, yes. it won't work. Ah, yes. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's yeah, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and it's quite obvious. Like we mm -hmm. already talked. Like even if we send a good mm -hmm. person or very eloquent person mm -hmm. or highly educated. Mm -hmm. Erudite person. Mm -hmm. Since we are just, the state has just one representative. Mm -hmm. We're not, you know, the state will not be able to push mm -hmm. the state's mm -hmm. agenda mm -hmm. in any sense unless there is a mercy granted from the center or the major political party. Mm -hmm. So, lots of elections seems to be not going to be very, yeah, very yeah, meaningful. It's, uh, yeah. Non issue, no? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, again, uh, when you look at the national party also, no? Uh, yeah, yeah. Look at the state of the India alliance, no? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have much hopes for it now. Yeah, uh. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, still wishing mm. the best for those candidates yeah, yeah, who are being course, fielded. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, for all the genuine, uh, all the people who really love the nation no? yeah, uh, from yeah. any party, no? mm -hmm. hope that they win. Uh. Mm. So, but who do you think will be definitely getting elected? Not in terms of, I mean, individual, but as a party. A party, though, I believe is BJP. Still BJP. Yeah, mm. because... Congress too, they have a long way to go before they understand mm. that they are no longer uh, 
national party okay mm-hmm. i mean practically uh, they, they 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 depend on allies but they don't know how to share seats with, seats with their allies mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i feel yeah. they still have their egos of and, the past uh, yeah yeah they still have the hangover no they mm-hmm. still think that uh, they are uh, powerful look at what's happening in kashmir uh, they allied with um, that uh, pdp no the mehboob mufti uh, something and, yeah, uh, yeah that uh, this uh, that some uh, people's conference yeah, Farooq Abdullah no? yes, uh, yes, they, yes. they got pissed off uh, and then they, they have a right because they're the ones who have been in alliance with Congress from no? mm. way back and it was uh, maybe Mufti's father no? uh, uh, what was his name yeah? Mufti Muhammad I think huh? uh, uh, Father I Abdullah something no no that is Farooq Farooq Abdullah. Uh, Farooq, uh, Farooq Abdullah. That's different. Okay, uh, that's the son, right? Uh, Mehboob Mufti's father. Okay, I'm not aware yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah, yes. uh, He was a minister d- uh, during this thing. Uh, that in the center? In the yeah, center. Okay, yeah, uh, okay. And she was kidnapped by the thing, Kashmiri militants. Huh? Mm, 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 mm. Mm. During a, who's who was the prime minister then? I forgot. Yeah, it was not Congress. Okay. Mm, mm. Mm. So after that, she allied with the BJP. Okay. Mm. Okay. It was under her watch that uh, Kashmir was thing. Mm. Uh, bifurcated. Uh, Ladakh right, was right, taken away, right. and then uh, status was taken down. No? Because mm. she was in alliance with the BJP, yeah, yeah. right? BJP kind of betrayed her. No, no. Everybody, BJP do. You cannot blame them. They have been open about everything. Yeah, they do mm. openly. They have never things. hidden the fact yeah. uh, mm. that they have a Hindu agenda. Yeah, they they have never hidden the fact that they want to abrogate Article Three Seventy. That's part of uh, their so manifesto. So it is Mebo Mufti uh, mm-hmm. who is guilty. Uh, yeah, in that power sense. hungry. No? Uh, so she was willing to make deals with the devil. That's, uh. true, that's true. No, you cannot blame the BJP. That's true. Mm. She, knows, she knew yeah. that it was coming. Mm. So why is the Congress making deals with her? Mm. In, in, in the past? No, no, this, oh, thing, yeah, yeah, this time. Yeah, okay, I, okay, I, I okay. came across the news just yesterday. Maybe BJP being night. a common enemy. Because yeah. your enemy's enemy is your. No, 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 no. See, just because he's my enemy's enemy, no? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't mean he's my friend. Because we have to understand what they can be relied upon also. Mm-hmm. No? Mm, what do you think? So, in certain instances, no? My enemy's enemy may be my friend, yeah, uh, but yeah. not in all. No, that's what I think. Of course, mm, not, not, in, not in everything. Not in every case. Yeah. But let's see how it rolls out. Mm. Yeah.